Okay, so I know I just did a video doing a real review on the JM, JL, JB 200, whatever it was. Uh, that was the cheapest reel on Amazon. It's like the cheapest reel anybody makes. And I gave it an overall positive review, but it is most of the time I was comparing it to the Zebco Stinger. And uh, this is a tin size. Uh, it's a broken handle. It's an older discontinued model. The new one's not too much different than this. Uh, but this is what I was going by as a cheap, a solid cheap reel to compare it to. This one's actually pretty smooth still. You can see there. Uh, the drag sounds funny. Sounds like solid, like plastic maybe. This is what I got today. This one says Yumoshi. On Amazon, it's probably about 15 bucks, 14, 15. So it's about the same price as the Zebco Stinger. Uh, after I bought it, I actually found a cheaper one. So I'm gonna post a link to the cheaper one down in the description. Uh, the cheaper one's about nine bucks. Uh, this thing, wow. I haven't even got it out of the bubble wrap and it's already a world of difference. It's got the collapsible handle like that. Oh wow. That is smooth and quiet. It feels it feels heavier than the Stinger. Like it is legitimately heavier than the Stinger. Uh looking at them they're probably pretty comparable. Uh spools are about the same size. So they're the same size even though this is the EF500. And this is the uh, 10 size, which uh, really is a 1,000 size. And since this is a 500 size, it should be half the size of a 1,000. Uh, the JM200 is a little bit bigger because it's a 200 size. So this would be a 100 size. This should be a 50 size. But they're, they're all kind of confusing like that. But this thing is actually, I mean, it, it's got some, uh, a little bit of an issue with some movement on the handle. But this handle is so much better than the other one, the uh, the cheap one. And actually, that movement just went away. I tightened it up some. Wow. And it is smooth and quiet. The other one makes all kinds of noise. The drag. has a more of a metallic sound compared to the the stinger the stinger kind of sounds plastic the drag on on this one sounds metallic the spools metal uh, the handle is a much better material the, this is actually wood that's real wood too that's pretty nice uh, There's not a whole lot of reverse on it when you turn that anti-reverse off, so that's pretty good. Let's see what the... It's really about the same. It is really, really comparable to the Stinger, but it's actually heavier, and it actually feels like it might be a little bit more uh, well-made. Uh, I like the spool better. The spool feels better and looks better. Uh, they're really, really similar, though. So, I can't wait to get this thing spooled up and try it out. This is... This is nice. I mean, I haven't even used it yet, but it's already worth what I paid for it. And I found a cheaper one than what I paid for this one. So that's pretty awesome. It says computer balanced on it. 12. I don't know what 12 means. Um, it's designed for six pound line, six. Two, four, six pound line, probably not up to eight, but yeah. Even though this is really just re literally rebranded because uh, they just print their name on it right there on the spool. They These are made in China. All these other brands have the exact same reels uh, and they just tag it like that. It's pretty simple. Uh, but I mean, they put some effort into the, a little bit of effort into the, the, peel ch the packaging and the labeling. So that's pretty cool. I like the color scheme on it. It's kind of a goldish orange, copper. 
and silver color. This thing's pretty nice. I, I really want to go and use this already. So let me get it spooled up and we'll try it. All right, back out here at this place. It's a little drier this time, so I probably won't fall. Uh, as long as I, you know, keep up off the band, off the, the mud. Got the reel. The reel actually looks pretty nice. I like the orange on it. I put some uh, six pound trilene on it and it feels really good. Uh, got some uh, weird shaped EWG hook that somebody gave me. I've never actually seen one quite like this before. So that's what I'll be using today. And let me go weightless on a Sanko, skinny Sanko. This creek is uh, generally a pretty tough place to, to fish. But uh, I come here a lot because this is the closest place where I live. And I've already got a fish biting it anyway. And that was actually a really smooth cast. I like this reel so far. It's really lightweight and really easy to move, to retrieve and turn. It's quiet. This thing, I really like the wooden handle grip on it too. That looks really cool. This, I had a bite there. The fish isn't on it anymore. But this reel is already miles and miles ahead of the last cheap reel I did that Kaka reel so this one is a Yumoshi but I did find a cheaper version so check out the description for the cheaper version it's about nine dollars on Amazon uh, yeah this thing I need to really test it out and see how it does handling a fish or a snag or something but honestly I'm already liking this thing better than the Zebco Stinger And I just, I probably got snagged right now, yep. Oh, I popped it free. I've got it paired up with a Shakespeare Micro Series Ultra Light Rod. It's actually a five foot six rod. I've got two seven footers and a five foot six on these. And this is just a really good Ultra Light Rod. There we go. Wow, I, I mean, I'm using kind of a heavy bait for an Ultra Light Rod, but this thing is ultra smooth on the cast and it's an ultra smooth, re smooth retrieve. It's it is way better and it's not a cheap little plastic uh, joint section it's got the same kind of joint section where you press a button and you can collapse the handle this one will last a lot longer for sure and it's just a couple dollars more I am already really liking this reel I might just buy these from now on for my cheap rods instead of stingers I really did like stingers but this thing the EF 500 this thing is awesome Oh, something blew up on it there. Something When I was looking the other way, something blew up on it. But he didn't take it. Or did he? He's on it. Oh, my God. I, he pulled me off the hook. No, he bit me in half. Come on. Okay. Whew, he didn't bit me in, bite me in half. I thought he did. But he had it, and I just missed the hook set on him. That was interesting. I wonder what that was. I didn't get a look at him. I think another thing, uh, I'm having bad hook sets today is because I'm using such a shorter rod that I'm used to. Well, five foot six. I'm used to seven to seven foot six. So maybe that's making some, but somewhat of a difference, but it's also an ultralight too, and I'm, I'm, I've been using a lot of mediums and heavies lately. Definitely a different hook set between those and this. I got him. Come on, stay on. Got one. Ah, finally. Good sized little green sunfish. Now the challenge in this was not actually the reel I'm trying to review. It's this well-known, well, like, popular made name brand rod. But of course this guy's not coming off. He's stuck. Yeah, it's already getting kind of dark. Did finally catch something. Green sunfish. Now I'm going to move on, try another spot before it gets completely dark. 
All right, I'm not sure what you guys can see anymore because it's getting pretty dark. Although there is a street light right here lighting up some of it. So maybe you'll, no, I don't know. I can't see anything on my own screen unless I turn and look at the light. So I don't know what you can see. Maybe I can brighten it up in the editing. I don't know. Uh, I did catch a sunfish. Hopefully I'll be able to catch something else right here. Go up this way dark enough they can't see me anymore but they can still hear me so I'm trying to be quiet now is he on stay on come on I don't know if it's a bass or not it's small there we go it's a bass there we go not that you can see it let me this reel is legitimately it's a solid reel. It really is. Let me. There we go. Look at that. Wow, he's not even actually hooked all the way. Well, now he is. The hook was not actually punching through his cheek, or through the lip. But now it is, because he was shaking it on there. So, yeah. Let me... It's hard to do this with one hand. not the biggest bass I've caught but I've actually landed one out of this spot over here so that's pretty cool I really 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 like this reel I might have to buy a couple more of these the last video I told you I wasn't gonna lie and tell you it was like a great reel or something that one sucked this reel considering it's like eight nine dollars it is amazing so yeah Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.